Hey Facebook, what's going on? This is Dust with our video again, and I just wanted to share a couple quick thoughts before I forget them, right? Um, I was just talking on the status about um, the race, you know, those those topics tend to pop up with some of my friends there. And, um, you know, one of the things they were talking about is how, you know, why, why don't people try to combat race a lot more? You know, why don't they uh, talk about it more? Why don't they do this and do that? You know, Matthew 24, it talks about nation, will be against nation, talking about ethnos versus ethnos, which is talking about ethnic group versus ethnic group. And this is something that's been prophesied by Christ, you know, about 2,000 years ago. You know, it's going to get worse and worse. That's what's one of the signs of the times there. And, you know, it's just like we tend to forget that. And then we try to combat racism with carnal means. In other words, you know, uh, we try to put a whole group of people and blame them for the sins of their ancestors or what other white people have done, for example. Um, and it doesn't make any sense because, for example, if a black person does something to a white person, I'm not going to apologize for that person because I didn't do it. You know, I, and likewise, I wouldn't expect anyone to apologize to me for something that someone else has done. Um, the only way you can make effective change in any community or anybody is through the gospel of Christ. You you look at Christ and his 12 disciples, you know, they took they took the gospel and preached it in the one of the most uh, um, discriminating empires of all time. I mean, the pagan Roman Empire was persecuting uh, Christians by the dozens, by the thousands, you know, uh, throwing them into coliseums and, and letting them get ripped apart. What did the Christians do? They went out and preached the gospel and more people came in. More people's minds and hearts were changed by the words of God. So when we go out there and try to pick it and sign, say, change the law, change. The you can change the law, but it won't change the heart. And if you don't change the heart, most likely the law doesn't really matter. Um, the law is nothing but, you know, a piece of paper written down. You know, you can celebrate this and say every, every form of bigotry and whatever is outlawed. You're still going to have bigots. You're still going to have racists because the heart hasn't changed. It's not going to change anything. So people need to get back into preaching the gospel, tell, you know, discipling people. I mean, I've told people this plenty of times myself that I've witnessed to a Ku Klux Klan member and actually seen him change. He actually stopped calling me the N-word and actually sat down and listened to what I had to say and even apologized. So I've seen the power of the Holy Spirit. I've seen the power of the gospel uh, in the hearts of hateful people. People. And the whole thing is that without Christ, you're no different. You know, we got to look at these people, even though they're hateful, we may not like them. But at one time, you're no different than they were. And if you continue trying to blame innocent people for the sins of someone else, you're no better than they are. So we we as Christians, those who are wrapped up in the social justice warriors uh, uh, thing, you guys need to get back to the word of God and stop trying to be like the rest of the world and protest because the protest is not doing anything. It's not changing hearts. All you're doing is creating enemies. You need to get back to the word. And this is something I've always said in my videos. You know, if you don't take anything else, take that to heart. Um, I mean, you look at what the Christians have done since the time uh, of Christ and they have done amazing things all the way up until recently because we tried to change theology. We tried to make the gospel more cultural. We tried to make it more relevant because we need to make it cool. So it says the guy with glasses. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we just we just need to get back. That's all. But that's all I need to say, y'all. Peace out.